16 second chance points for CU, 14 for Georgetown. Points off turnovers, 11 Campbellsville points off turnovers, 9 for Georgetown. As we're now joined by head coach of the Tigers, Brent Vernon. Coach, this a heartbreaker, not the way you wanted your season to end. I think there are some positives to be said about your club for fighting through after Georgetown made that big comeback. They took an eight-point lead, a 15 and 14 club that didn't have an automatic bid to a tournament, could have easily laid down, rolled over. They didn't. They came back and, and took a lead, in fact. We did, and we, we played our, our absolute butt off, and again, Unfortunately, the last minute, minute and a half was sort of the epitome of our season. Uh, so, some mental errors, you know, we, we make a three after a great offensive rebound to take the lead. They come down and, and you know, we talked we talked earlier today, me and you and everything else, uh, transition defense and, and second chance and offensive rebound points. And they take a quick shot in transition, which was great. And then Chris Coffey, who does what he does, gets an offensive rebound put back. And, 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 you know, puts us behind the eight ball a little bit. And, and again, I, I'll never fault the effort of our guys, I'm going to say. But, but again, it just it, it's a heartbreaker. Like you said, we were right there, but we just didn't make enough smart basketball plays late. I, I wasn't at the game at Georgetown, but in some ways it got so wild down the stretch, maybe a bit uh, <laughs> reminiscent of how that went, some free throws and different things. And, and this season, kind of what we expect between these, I think if you guys play a dozen times, we may see similar results all 12 times. All three games are sort of clones. I mean, we're up nine at our place, they're up nine, we're up eight, and the, net, the team, before you know it, comes back and, and, and you know, makes a run. And we knew they'd make a run, and, and the thing I, I told our guys is when they do, we have to make sure that we handle it right, we can't get forced up and, and take quick shots, and we did a little bit, and that's why their run continued longer than than some of the other runs, and, and we struggled scoring. Then we settled down and found our rhythm, and again, it's just how the game went. You knew it was going to sort of be like that, and, and you give Georgetown credit. They 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 didn't. They made a few more plays than us down the stretch, and it's just, you know, it's like I told our guys, you know, unfortunately, at the end of the year, there's only going to be one happy team, and, and, you know, this is sort of where it ends for us for this season. In a game like this, you often look to see who might step up, who might – uh, go above and beyond tonight. Unfortunately, it was Darian Burns for Georgetown in the absence of Trent Gilbert. He averages eight points a game on the season. I think the, the biggest thing, Coach, uh, he had two big threes. He had it nine threes all year. He hits one at the end of the half, and then he hits one at the end of a shot clock in the second half to kind of slow your momentum down at that point. Uh, maybe, I mean, you could argue there are a lot of huge plays in the game, but those were two really well-timed threes by him that kind of, you know, snuffed out things for you. Big shots, and again, you know, we were going to settle with him making shots if he was going to make threes. And those two were actually pretty well contested and guarded, had a good closeout in the one in the second half. And the first half is a, a step through that just had a lucky bounce. And they had a couple of those, it seemed like, today. And, and it's just one of those things that it probably just wasn't meant to be. He did a great job. He made some hard shots late uh, going towards the rim and it's one or two missed assignments as well as the hard shots that gave him easier looks. But, gosh, it's like you, it's just it's a hard one to swallow right now. I'll give you a chance real quick to say goodbye to some seniors. Coach here, uh, Eric Kinney, finishes 11 points, 22 rebounds. Uh, he was terrific all night on the glass for your team. He was, and, you know, he made some, some plays and some not the best decisions at certain times but again you look at our stat sheet he's just a guy that we could not take out at any time this year once he got his body in shape and the reason is you know 38 rebounds as a team and again he had 22 of them he's an absolute warrior and a competitor you know some players are are born and and they have a basketball iq and he's got a good iq it's not where where i want it to be for him yet i'm gonna say and as he continues to try to keep playing he's gonna work on that but, man, he warriors. He, he, he's got a great competitive spirit about himself, and I was really proud of him tonight. Rod Lawrence has kind of went back and forth. He's ran some second, kind of almost that second unit point guard spot at times, uh, trying to run the offense. He's battled through some foot injuries, some uh, things in his personal life that uh, a lot of people wouldn't be able to, uh, to come back from. He is uh, uh, the true spirit of Campbellsville University and perseverance and staying with it. Uh, a very good senior season for Rod as well. It was, and you know, I give I give him a lot of credit. As you said, he's went through a lot of things, and and I told our team in there as a whole, 
a team shouldn't have to go through as much adversity as we did. Some of it personal, some of it team-wise. We just had a lot of stuff that, that happened, and, and I give our guys credit because when you have those things going on, it's so easy to throw in the towel and, and, and make excuses, and we never did. And, and that's what the one main thing I'm going to really remember about this group is, is they continue to fight anything that happened that they didn't use it as an excuse or a crutch and, and they tried to continue to fight through it and, and we truly did get better as the season went on you know depth hurt us i thought at times at, throughout the year and that's something obviously as we move forward recruiting wise hopefully we'll, we'll be able to get that fixed but man you i just i, I look at what those guys did and, and i'm and i'm so proud of those two uh for, for everything that they've gone through and to fight back like they did Taking a look at Zach Perry tonight. Uh, Zach finished, hit one Edward Jones three-point field goal. Had a nice couple of nice defensive plays, couple of steals in the ball game. Zach had picked up more and more minutes as the season went along, and, and at times proved to be a valuable spark plug off the bench. Zach did a great job. I want to say I wish he had found his his niche in the in the rotation about mid-December. I want to say it wasn't until mid late January where he found it, and, and he had sort of gone through this the last couple of years. And normally he found it early and for whatever reason maybe dropped off a little bit. He went through a sickness early in the year and that put him behind the eight ball early on. And I, I honestly, I wasn't 100% sure he'd be able to recover, I'm gonna say. Um, and again, it's one of those adversity things we talk about. He never complained about the minutes he got. He continued to com come in every day and work hard. And then he, he finally got rewarded with that. And he was a really big reason, I thought in the last three and four weeks we had this turnaround. Made a big shot today. Uh, I know there's one in the corner he'd like to have back that wide open and, and didn't have but man Zach Perry to, to go everything he's been through to be a guy who was strictly on our JV team three years ago to come in and be a rotation player he's done a great job for us and then we finish up with Elliot Young coach uh, Elliot finishes tonight with 16 points he had a three I lost my mind on that three over here it give you guys the lead and thought maybe that would be the, the straw to break the back so to speak of Georgetown wasn't to be but uh, he's just been one of those guys that you can get a, a team full of Elliott Youngs in your program for four years, you got a pretty good chance. Absolutely, and there's really, um, there's not many words that I can go to describe Elliott because if I start really talking about him, <laughs> I, I'll get emotional. Um, you know, he's a four-year player. He's the type of guys that we are seriously looking at. We're always going to have some transfers, but we have to have more four-year guys, and we have to have guys like Elliott, Sean Johnson, Hagen Tyler, you know, Elliot wins the champion of the character, and it was it was more than well deserved. But what, you know, having him three years as an assistant coach, we had a very good relationship, and I, you know, I appreciate everything. When he decided, you know, I got the job, and he was the first person I talked to, told me he was coming back, and you know, on senior night, he said the only reason he came back was because of me. You know, we built a lot better relationship from the past three years to this year. And, and words can't describe how appreciative I am of Elliot Young and everything that he has meant to our program and to our university. And you said it best, if you can be fortunate enough to have people like Elliot Young in your program, things are going to go in the right direction. Coach, uh, not the outcome you wanted tonight, but uh, just as uh, someone, uh, a, a bystander looking on, um, I want to offer kudos for the way your team competed uh, once that things were known that the national tournament was not going to be an option, your team could have laid down. They did not do that. That is a testament to you and your staff. And congratulations on your first season, and, and I look forward to next year. Appreciate it. Thanks a lot. Coach Vernon and the Tigers come up short here tonight, 75-70 to, to Georgetown College.